Today's video does have a $20 giveaway, so if you want a chance at winning that, then all you have to do is comment your in-game name in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to play Aragon, then click on the link in the description that sends you to their Discord. And once you join the Discord, you can just go to the download section and download the client from there. A quick shout out to Krios for winning the last episode's giveaway, definitely don't forget to enter today's giveaway. So in yesterday's episode, I was able to get all the way up to 88 Slayer, which was a really solid grind in my opinion, that took a fair few amount of hours, it was definitely a bit draining. And the reason as to why I was actually grinding Slayer in the first place was because I needed to get 99 Slayer for the second time in order to progress through the adventure path. But today I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break from Slayer just to avoid burnout within that skill and I'm going to focus on my combat stats and get those back to where they should be after prestiging those. I also did have a comment on yesterday's video from Lonely and they said that I should just convert these items in my shop here to dust which is a great idea because they're probably not going to sell and if they do I'm not going to get a bunch of cash from it anyways. But I do need dust so that is a pretty good idea I didn't think of that. Yeah it looks like this single helmet will get me over a thousand dust if I'm lucky so I should be able to get a very solid amount of dust from all these items here and I'll just go ahead and do that now I guess and update you with how much I get. Oh yeah, I also really like that they added an option here to continuously deconstruct items automatically. That is a really nice quality of life update right there if you do have a bunch of noted items. But yeah, that is going to leave me with a total of 6,000 dust, which is super nice considering that I was just going to sell these items for a lousy 20 mil. This was a much better option. It's going to help me out a lot more in the future, I think. But yeah, since I have some dust right now, I might as well go ahead and construct myself another upgrade token. I'm going to be able to do two this time so that is really good i think i have three now including the one that's already in my bank from last episode oh actually never mind i do have four upgrade tokens so i think i can do a couple of upgrades if i wanted to but again i don't think i'm in a position to really spend all my cash on a gold riff upgrade especially since i'd only be able to do one so like i've been saying lately i think it's probably a better idea to just passively hold on to those tokens and get more as time goes on and then when i'm ready i'll go ahead and do all my upgrades the main combat style that i want to focus on today is going to be magic so i will be buying a staff of light here for only six mil it's pretty cheap and i think it's probably a better upgrade than having the ancient staff or whatever it is so i'm going to go ahead and get this for six mil oh my god i'm so stupid dude i did not realize there's going to be an attack requirement for this i mean it's only 75 attacks so i guess i can do some slayer i guess i didn't plan on doing slayer today but i think i'll do some slayer just to get to 75 attack it shouldn't take too long i knew there would be a magic requirement but i knew i was going to be able to get that pretty quickly i did not think there was going to be an attack requirement though damn okay i know i just said that i was going to do slayer in order to get these combat stats up but i remembered that bandit swear thing so i went to the bandits in order to get some afk xp but unfortunately someone was there so now i'm at the rabbits because 40 in my combat stats or at least in my melee stats is just not enough to do slayer efficiently especially since i'm 88 slayer and i'm going to be getting a lot of creatures that have a little bit higher defense so i'm just going to go ahead and train up my combat a little bit here in order to get to maybe 60 65 and then i might do some slayer but we'll just see how it goes the af king option would have been really nice though everyone likes to get free levels and if i could just sit there and rack up my levels then that would have been perfect and just like that i'm up to 75 attack again i also even got 70 strength even though i did prestige this skill and the xp rates are a little bit lower it still was pretty quick and easy to get to that point but now i just have to get my magic level up to 75 that way i can use my staff of light that i just spent six mil on if you're enjoying the content then definitely consider joining my discord server this is the best way for me to interact and engage with everyone on a more personal level i spend plenty of time here every single day so if you want to chat or just hang out for a little bit then feel free to do so on top of all of that i'm planning on doing plenty of fun updates events and giveaways on this server the link to join will be in the description below and i'd love to see you all there but anyways back to the rabbit pit in order to get 50 magic that way i can use my ancient staff and then i'll go ahead and put that on with my boots as well and get 75 magic from there so we're basically doing the exact same thing all over again just with magic you know i've played many servers that have prestiging in it so it's not like it's a brand new concept or anything like that but i've actually never prestiged very much in other servers because i just haven't found a reason to do so but the rewards for prestiging on this server are pretty damn good so i might as well go ahead and do it i also like it because you do get your stats reset and you get to go through the early game all over again so there's a lot of times on servers when you just get to the end game and that's pretty much it that's all you can do 
do but then you have some servers where you can prestige your stats and there's good rewards for it so you just go through the whole thing again it can be a little bit repeatable but at least you're doing different things rather than just getting to the end game and being stuck there and there is 75 magic right there so finally i can go on with my plan for today and speaking of that plan earlier i did say that i wanted to get my combats up a little bit specifically magic and the reason for that is because i'm going to be doing some barrows and i'm going to be collecting a bunch of barrow items in order to turn those into dust and make a bunch of upgrade tokens but the interesting thing here is that i think i'm actually going to sell all the upgrade tokens that i get today because i do need cash i've been needing cash for a while and i've never really took the time to just go out and make a bunch of money i know in the past few episodes i've been saying that i'm just going to try to collect as many upgrade tokens as i can passively so it's a little bit weird that i'm going to make them and then sell them but this is like the best money maker that i have right now so it's kind of weird but that's just what i'm going to be doing today i will be doing this for a couple of hours so my magic level should definitely get close to the 90s if not 99 i'm not exactly sure how fast it's going to be and of course i'm going to get a lot of barrow items which i'll be turning into dust and making upgrade tokens and selling them for about four to five mil each so yeah the next clip that you see should be me after a few hours of barrows grinding unless something interesting or unique happens during this time but yeah i'm pretty sure the next clip that you see will be me with a bunch of barrows loot okay well i guess something interesting or unique did actually happen before i finished up with this grind i just completed a seven barrows runs which is a daily task apparently so i'm going to go ahead and collect my reward from doing that oh okay this is actually pretty damn good it's not like amazing or anything like that but i did get an upgrade token uh barrows piece and of course some bolt racks which isn't really anything too impressive but that was actually a pretty good reward just from doing some barrows well isn't that just poetic on my last run here i complete the barrows collection log that's actually perfect this was my final run of the day as well oh my god dude i get 10 extra barrows items in exotic loot key and two supreme coin caskets as an achievement reward from doing that that is just amazing that is so good that is so good i'm so glad that i got that and it just gets even better because not only do i get that reward but from the collection log itself i get five more keys which is basically five more items and five mills so i just went ahead and claimed that but i also haven't even claimed my warriors guild collection log either which is another free five mil and that's insane right there i just got a bunch of free money so that is amazing all right so i have 16 barrows keys here i'm gonna go ahead and open all of them up and i think i should get 16 items i actually got a carol set as well which is pretty good that's pretty solid okay so this is all the barrows gear that i got right here initially i was planning on doing this for a couple of hours but i decided one hour was probably a little bit of a better plan because then i could actually see how much money i could expect to get per hour if i were to take all this barrows gear and convert it to dust and then make tokens with that dust and then sell off the tokens so i just wanted to see how much this would be per hour so yeah let's just go ahead and start converting this into dust and see how much i actually get and while deconstructing these items i also just completed another daily task of getting a bunch of battle pass experience so i guess i'll claim that as well plus i do have a bunch of stuff from the battle pass itself to claim so i got a lot of rewards to get through today okay so i did make a slight mistake here because the whole plan was to see how much money i could make in one hour but from the rewards from the collection log and achievements and daily task and all that i had 15 extra barrows keys that i normally wouldn't have gotten and when i opened those i put those back into the normal barrows loot pile so i just converted everything to dust and i did get 11,000 dust but i'm not sure exactly how much of that was from my grind because i had 15 extra items to turn into dust so i don't really know how much i made in this hour but that is uh i guess that's okay it's just uh, a little bit of a mistake so much for that plan but i'm gonna go ahead and make four upgrade tokens right here because that's all i have enough dust for if i were to sell these for five mil each that'd be 20 mil plus 10 mil so technically i did make 30 mil in just cash once these do sell but again that's not really how much i made in the hour because i got a bunch of free items and free loot so yeah i don't really think that it's going to be too worth it to do this in the future for money because the upgrade tokens just don't equal out to a lot of cash i mean i probably would have been able to get two upgrade tokens and no cash rewards if i didn't get all those other free things which would only end up being 10 mil an hour and that might be a solid money maker for a beginner account but i do think that i could probably make more doing other things maybe even slayer if i get lucky on a couple of tasks at this point i'm not even gonna sell the upgrade tokens for 20 mil either because i got a bunch of cash for collecting those other collection log rewards and achievements and stuff like that and i even have two supreme caskets here i'm not too sure how much money i will be getting from them let's go ahead and open it up 
uh two mil okay so yeah i i don't even need to sell these upgrade tokens anymore because i do have enough cash to pretty much get whatever i need when it comes to potions and food and stuff like that and that's really why i was doing all this today of course i did need to get my combat stats up as i mentioned but i also needed just a little bit of extra money for spending on runes potions food and i wasn't expecting to get a bunch of cash and buy a bunch of upgrades or anything like that that wasn't really the plan but yeah i think it is a pretty successful day especially since i have a few other things left to do that i still will get extra money from and one of those things was opening my exotic loot key that i got earlier and i got a carol set from that so i'm not going to convert that into dust or anything i'm just going to go ahead and throw that into the bank but i mean i guess that's a little nice reward i guess i do have some battle pass rewards to collect so i'm going to go ahead and claim these into my inventory and i do have this daily task as well that i should claim so that's going to give me two more loot keys and another achievement point voucher and this looks like two more items that i'm just going to hang on to and turn into dust from those loot keys that i got from the daily Daily task. I'm not going to sell these. They're not really worth much. I don't even know if I can actually use the Armadale Coif to turn it into dust, but I'm pretty sure I could probably do that with the Dragon Boots. But that's not all because I am going to be using this Staff of Light in the future to do a certain boss that requires magic in order to use, and that should make me a bunch of money as well. So this Staff of Light is definitely going to be giving me a solid return on my investment. I mean, I'm sitting here acting like this Staff of Light was really expensive when it was only six mil, but still, you get the point. I'm going to be using this Staff of Light for a certain boss. I'm sure most of you already know what I'm talking about, but we'll get to that in a couple of episodes. But that is where I'm going to be ending today's episode. If you did enjoy, then make sure to let me know by leaving a like. And if you want to see videos like this in the future, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on. That way you never miss any of my content.